Good evening, teacher. Hello, Diana. How are you? Good evening. Yeah, I'm inside. Oh, yeah? You had a busy day? Yeah, but the traffic, no. Oh. I know the traffic is been a problem all day long here in San Salvador. The traffic, we have... Yeah. Traffic jams everywhere. ¿Cómo se puede decir este, compras navideñas? Ah, uh, because of the Christmas, uh, how, how would you say, uh, Christmas, Christmas sales. Uh -huh. uh, okay, por eso. <laughs> um, people has money. <laughs> yeah. I don't have money, but um, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you live, Diana? I am live in Santa Tecla, but oh. I work in San Salvador. Oh, I see. So you you travel to you commute every day to San Salvador. Yes, and this uh, travel, this traffic is yeah traffic jams. Yeah. yeah, we have traffic jams everywhere. That's how we say yeah. traffic pesado, eh? traffic jam. Traffic jam. Yeah. Like this. Okay. We have traffic. I live in, I live in, uh, within a walking distance from my house. I, I live in Delgado and my job is like let me see, one, two, three, like five blocks away from my house. Oh, wow, that's nice. Yeah, so I go walking. In 10 minutes, I'm, I'm, I'm in my workplace. So I don't have to worry. I, I get up at six or 6.30. I take care of my, you know, take a shower, relax, watch the news, have breakfast, um, have a small talk with my, with my, um, how can I say, my partner, yeah, she, well, the, the, the girl that I'm living with, and then I go, so I have no problem with that. It's so nice. Yeah, it's convenient. It's convenient to live to live near your near your job. You can say morning. Oh yeah, in a way, in a way, yes. 
-hmm. Yeah, because of the, you know, paying buses and sometimes Ubers is expensive. Yes. And I come home to have lunch too. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> You don't buy food. Yeah. I don't buy food. Sometimes I do, right? Because she goes out, but sometimes. Hey, Sergio. Hello. Nice talking to you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good. Ready. Uh, we're ready here too. Do you work tomorrow? Are you working tomorrow? Yes. Yes, I work. Me too. I work until 12. Only four hours. Okay, I guess it's time to start. I don't know, but you know, when uh, on Fridays, uh, the students just relax. I only have uh, three, six, 11. Well, let's start, let's start with something. Uh, I, um, I have a reading, a, a listening. This is a listening and reading activity. So the audio, it's named networking one, setting goals. Establishing objectives, that's what, what it means, okay? So I'm gonna play the video and you're going to be reading. You're gonna read this, okay? I'm gonna be like, you know, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling until we finish. Understand? You're going to listen and read. Understand the activity? Comprende? Sergio, what are we going to do? Escuchar y leer. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Okay, let's do it. No listen. I don't listen. Nobody listen. I always make the same mistake. Here we go. Business Skills 360. The podcast that looks at the other side of business English. Hello, and welcome back to Business Skills 360. I'm Tim Simmons, and I'm glad you could join me for today's show on networking. Today also marks the start of our back to school sale on Business English Pod. Just head over to the website at www.businessenglishpod.com. Okay, back to networking.
Now, I'm not going to tell you how to connect computers. This is about business networking, talking to people, making connections. And today we're going to discuss goal setting in networking events. You need to go into these events with a clear objective so that you can make good use of the opportunity. We set goals. What happened? Something happened. I don't know what. Is that internet going in? I don't know why this stopped. Oh, it's loading. Skills 360, the podcast that looks at the other side of business English. Hello, and welcome back to Business Skills 360. I'm Tim Simmons, and I'm glad you could join me for today's show on networking. Okay, back to networking. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to connect computers. This is about business networking, talking to people making connections and today we're going to discuss goal setting in networking events you need to go into these events with a clear objective so that you can make good use of the opportunity we set goals for everything else so why not networking first off what do i mean by networking event perhaps it's a mixer for all business people in your community or maybe it's a conference where you have the chance to meet people in your field. These are important opportunities, and it is important that you use your time wisely. The fact is, at many networking events, 75% of the people stand around waiting for the other 25% to make something happen. It's important for you to be in that 25% group. Be proactive. You can't just stand in the corner and expect everyone to walk across the room to introduce themselves. So, to be an active and successful networker, it's a very good idea to set goals before the event. What kind of goals? We'll talk about issue-based goals and human-based goals. Let's start with issues. Before the event, sit down and give some thought to your current situation. What issues are you currently dealing with in your business or work? Are you facing specific problems or obstacles that you need help with? Do you have certain needs? Write these things down, then rank them in order of importance. For example, your list might say, Number one, our project meetings lack focus. Number two, our computer servers are unreliable. And number three, my department is spending too much on office supplies. Great. It's good to have a top three. Too many and you'll lose focus. Now, keep your top three issues in mind as you head into the networking event. Remember, the goal of your networking is to solve these problems, get help solving them, 
or simply get some ideas about how to deal with them. You may not meet someone who can actually solve these, but you may meet someone who has encountered them before. Steer the conversation toward these issues. They may help you get over that awkward situation in which you've introduced yourself and aren't sure what more to talk about. You can say something like, So, you folks do a lot of project work. How do you find your meetings? Or, what kind of servers do you run in there? Now, let's think about human-based goals. The purpose of networking is, of course, to build a human network. You talk to people, and your network grows. You talk to more people, and your network grows even more. That's great. But if your purpose heading into a networking event is very general, like talking to people, then how do you know whether you've been successful? Setting specific goals will help you get more done and measure your success, especially if you feel you're not very good at networking. Put numbers to your goals. Set targets, just as you might for sales or other important business basics. For example, perhaps you decide that you will make three soft contacts and one excellent contact. Or maybe you decide to tell five people about your company's new product. Or maybe you aim simply to pass out ten business cards. Whatever the specific goal is, it will help you focus your efforts. Chatting for 30 minutes about baseball with a former coworker may qualify as talking to people, but it's not necessarily the best use of your networking time. Right, that's all for today. Happy networking. And don't forget to tune in next week when we'll have a look at network maintenance. Fascinating stuff. Bye for now. Comments? This link is in your book. And this is about networking. Remember we were talking about networking? So basically what this, this guy is saying that we need to set up goals, objectives. Make contacts. He mentioned like three soft contacts in one uh, a strong contact. In that way, our company is going to grow. Also, you got to set goals for you all of your own, you know, like a. Hey, and this is one goal that you are like achieving. Learning English is a goal. Imagine you in two years after studying English, you're gonna speak English in, two, in a good English if you study for one year or maybe more time. That will be a plus for you at your work. And maybe you can apply for other position in another place or in the place that you are. Got it? That's why you, if you love English, if you like English, but there is an objective why you are learning English. Why am I learning English? I remember when I started at the university and now how many people had I met through teaching English? Oh, there's a lot of people, a lot of students that I met. And I've been working in like, let's say like three or four academies and uh, at a university too. So English open new opportunities. Imagine if you start working, studying other, other fields like computer studies, psychology, other things. Okay, so let's continue. I have another activity for you. Um, or do you have any comments? I have a question. Yes. 
for meaning. Mm -hmm. So. Can you write it? Ah, so solution, so resolver, solve problems, steer, steer is uh, direct, uh, dirigir, dirigir. Like an I steer, I steer the conversation to another. Yeah. Because people is talking one thing that you steer out the other to other conversation. Awkward. Oh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't. Let, let me. Let me. Here it is. Uh, oh no. Let me see. No, it's in the other. Can you see this one? Oh, where it is? Don't understand. Don't understand. Don't understand. Those were all were is uh, uncomfortable, incomodo. But those were were here. They were here. I saw them. I saw those words. No. Well, but all worry is uncomfortable, incomodo. Oh, perhaps, maybe, perhaps is maybe. It's the same. Perhaps and maybe. Is a synonym of, of maybe. You know what is maybe, right? Sergio, que es maybe? Yes, teacher. Tal vez. Aha, uh -huh. perhaps is maybe too. Okay. All right. And folks is like paisanos, compas. Hello, folks. Good questions. Measure, medir. Thank you, that's okay. All right, uh, thank you. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, let's go to another activity. It's time for you to, to speak up. We're gonna, um, I'm gonna answer this question, okay? Tell me what are you doing this weekend? You know what is present continuous? Do you know what is present continuous? Class? I am doing. Doing? Uh, uh, okay, yes, but what is present continuous? It's something what I'm gonna do. 
No, 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 no. That is like a future. A watching TV. Ah, that is an example. What are you doing right now? A present continuous is used to say, what are you doing at the moment or right now? What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Listening to your teacher, uh, studying English, writing on your not uh huh. That what are you doing? Present. I having a meeting. Ah, uh, you're having a meeting right now. So that that is happening now. Yeah, but here is what are you doing this weekend? This is like using the present continuous for the future. Okay, so I'm gonna say um visiting friends on Saturday afternoon. Yeah. And at night um staying at home and watching Netflix. All right. That is something that I'm I'm doing this this coming weekend. Okay. On Sunday I'm going to do my laundry and um, I'm buying books for the week. Okay, That's, those are uh, little things I'm gonna do, okay? Understand? Any questions? Buying goods. Ah, buying goods, buying la despensa. Food. Food or, or cosas de, de primera necesidad, yeah? Food, toilet paper, oil, sugar, all the things you go to buy. I am going to buying goods tomorrow. Oh, you're buying goods tomorrow. Oh, okay, now you understand the word and now you are using the words and that is something really nice. Okay, so write down what are you doing this weekend, okay? If you're playing a sports, if you're going on a trip to the beach with your family, friends, or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, okay? Write it down and what are you going to do? What are you doing this weekend, okay? Write it down, please. Write down your, your answer on the chat.
favor to be. Let me read. I'm going to read. Jacqueline, this weekend, I'm going to service a, a children's in the community, okay, at, at your church. Then I'm going, I'm going to the church. And finally, I'm going to the park with my family. Okay, Jacqueline, we don't say children's. Okay, we say children. Okay, teacher. All right, thank you. Excuse me. Okay, can can you write a longer, long paragraph? Because you're just writing a, imagine Francisco only said work and sleep. He's not going to watch TV. He's not talking with friends. He's not shouting. He's not, uh, uh, no, I, 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 Francisco write something else. On the Cuando weekend. vengo del trabajo, teacher, solo a dormir, llego. Ah, ok, entonces cuente que sueña, entonces. All right. On the weekend, we're going with my family for a walk. Ok, what else? What else? Ok, I know you, you come tired, but you have to do something else. I'm going to buy, some, Diana, so I'm going to buy some food for the rest of the week. Someday, maybe I'm going to visit my grandmother's house and after maybe rest a little. This, Carla said, this week I'm going to watch clothes. What else? What else are you going to do? I'm going to the movies with my daughter on Saturday. And on Sunday, I will work from 10. Oh my goodness, Juan Carlos. I'm going to work too on Sunday. And tomorrow, yes, yes, I'm going to work until 10 p.m. Well, Yolanda says, I'm visiting my grandmother or my grandparents with my children, good, on Saturday morning and at night, I'm going to make pupusas for my family. We're gonna have cheese pupusas, ayote pupusas, um, what else? Uh, pork pupusas and beans pupusas and crazy pupusas. Thank you. 
Mm, delicious. Adriana says, on Saturday, I wash my clothes or I do the laundry. Yeah, you can say I do the laundry or I do my laundry and make a family lunch. Mm. And in the afternoon, I'm going to watch a series or a movie. On Sunday, we're, we're going out to the, we're going to the park or go go we're gonna go shopping thank you adriana so i have one two three four five six seven eight oh here is jenny on saturday i'm going to work from 6 a.m to 10 a.m mm -hmm. Later in the afternoon, I'm going to watch, I'm watching a Korean series in Netflix. Uh-huh. And on Sunday, go for a walk to a shopping center. All right. I guess we are done. Oh, no, we are. Everybody's here. I got... 17 so the only one of you is not is not here at 12 four 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 of you are not here okay Lord hey I'm going to visit my parents on Sunday and I am watching a movie with my daughter excellent Okay, let's go to the groups and ask that questions to your partners. And also you can ask more questions, okay? Follow up questions. Saben que son las follow up questions? Be sure. Hello. Y va a pasar lista. <laughs> yes. It's time. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Siempre me agarro la tarde. I'm, 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 I'm excited. Okay. Do you know what I follow questions? No? Okay, we're going to study that. No. Right. Right now, follow up questions son preguntas de seguimiento, okay? If I say, I went to the, I went to the beach yesterday, you start, oh, where, oh, I went to the beach on the weekend. Ah, and where do you go? Who do you go with? What do you do? What do you eat? Okay? I start asking questions about the event. Those are follow-up questions. Okay, let's go to the group. And when we come back, I'm going to call the attendance. So please make conversations about your weekends and do not speak Spanish. Okay. And participate. Excuse me, teacher. Hello. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en el grupo? You're going to talk about the weekend. Oh, Look at, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Sure. Hello. New activity the the doing this weekend or yeah this weekend. Cosa lo reading. No, about the weekend. Okay.
Karen and Merari, what happened? Lord, what happened? Oh, Merari, yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you, Flor. Karen, thank you, Karen. Only Walter. Walter, maybe he's on the bike. He's riding his bike. Okay, four minutes. Take me today. Take me tomorrow.
Okay, let's see. Let's call the attendance. Adriana Lisette Chavez. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez. Present. Thank you, Diana. Lord de Maria Valladares. Present, teacher. Thank you, Lord. Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present, teacher. Thank you, Fran. Gerson Osvaldo Deras. Present, teacher. Thank you, Gerson. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Present. Thank you. Um, Juan Carlos Quevedo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Present. Thank you, Jay-Z. Karen Gemina Membreño. Teacher. Thank you. Carla Nayeli Machado. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. Present. Thank you. Maria Fernanda Moran. What happened to Maria Fernanda? Merari Andrea Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Sergio David Leiva. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Present. Thank you, Walter Amilcar Ramirez. Walter, okay. Jenny Carolina Tovar. Present. Thank you. And Yolanda Perez de Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's go. I have another activity for you. Hey, me today. Okay, can you see my my stream? Yes, teacher. This is six minute English. Are you big on a small talk? And what do you wanna say by that? If you are big on a small talk, if you are an easy an easy, I mean, easy going. I mean, if you are talkative, all right? Easy words. You come out with a conversation easily. You can contact with people. Ya, ya, bueno, me imagino si alguien que trabaja en ventas aquí, okay? But you know the people that is a salesperson, the easy way they have, I mean, the ability they have 
to speak with people and they are very sociable, kind, uh, and they almost convince you to buy something, but they, they have the, the manners, the words, the intonation, okay? So are you a big on the small talk? Let's listen. This is a six minute. So please use your headphones. Six minute English from bbclearningenglish.com. Sorry. <laughs> I was losing. Siempre en paso. Always happen the same. Oh no, it's okay, right? You were listening. Yes. I, uh, uh, sorry. Now it was okay. <laughs> All right. Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to Six Minute English. And with me in the studio is Rob. Hello, Neil. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, actually. The weather's been nice lately, hasn't it? Oh, yes, it has. The winter's been mild this year, but uh, according to the forecast, there might be some snow in parts of the country next week. And, you know, that's good because I love snow. We haven't seen much of it for okay, quite a while. OK, OK, OK. It's rain, isn't it? Enough, so, enough oh, okay, now. Okay, OK. Enough now or they're going to think it's true that British people only talk about the weather. Right. In this programme, we're talking about conversation and how to start talking with people you don't know. In short, how to make small talk. Right, well, small talk is what we call a polite and informal conversation about things which aren't really important or meaningful when meeting people socially, like at a party, for example. And in this programme, you'll learn some vocabulary about communication. But first, a question. Rob, when do babies usually start talking? Is it when they are A, nine months, B, 16 months, or C, 18 months? Ah, oh, well, I know they start making noises quite an early age, and I guess if that's talking, let me say, A, nine months. OK, well, we'll have the answer to that question at the end of the programme. Small talk is a social skill. Some people feel awkward. It means they feel uncomfortable, embarrassed when they go to a party and don't know many people there. Liz Brewer, the author of The Ultimate Guide to Party Planning and Etiquette, knows a lot about what to do on these occasions. Etiquette is the set of rules which indicate what behaviour in a society is acceptable and what's not. Yes, the author knows a lot about etiquette. Let's listen to her advice. What expression does she use to describe the act of attempting to start a conversation with someone? So you walk in a room, there's a sea of, of faces. Well, first thing we do is, um, it's the weather. We do it because we are, in fact, Breaking the ice, that is a code. That means I want to talk to you. It's an easy subject. It's not too penetrating. We're very private people. We don't like to give too much information. So we, we're on safe ground. We start off with the weather. If that goes well, we then take it one step further. Liz Brewer talks about breaking the ice. It means approaching someone you don't know and starting a friendly conversation with them. And when you break the ice, talking about things which are not specific is the best way. You don't start a chat asking straight away where people live or what they do for a living. And as the author said, we are very private people. Private describes someone who doesn't like to give away their personal information, opinions or share their feelings. So we need more time to open up to people we've just met. Good. So now you know what to do at a party when you don't know the other guests. Ah, uh, yeah, but Neil, there's one particular situation I'm not sure how to deal with. This is when I forget the name of the person I've been making small talk with. Ah, uh, yes, I know what that's like. You might not feel comfortable about allowing the person to realise you didn't really catch their name. It might sound rude. Yes, that's right. I don't want to sound rude, which means ill-mannered or unpleasant. The person <clears throat> I've just managed to approach might think I don't care. Let's see what tip author on etiquette Liz Brewer has for us. Which words does she use instead of, I have forgotten? You can say, oh, 
Just your name has just slipped my mind for the moment. And they say, Paul. Oh, no, 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 I know you're Paul. It was the surname. Or they give you the surname and then you, you add the other. As I say, small talk is a code towards getting information and going further. Once you feel comfortable, then you can have these wonderful in-depth conversations. But those are the kind of things you want to probably do later. Liz Brewer says, your name has just slipped to my mind. It's a gentler way of saying that they've just forgotten the person's name. And pretending that you knew the person's name, but you want the other name, is a clever trick. Yes, it might sound like you forgot the name, but not completely. And this author shows that you have to interact with people in a charming way. Yes. Well, my co-presenter, um, your name has uh, just slipped my mind for the moment. Come on, Rob. You know, you know it's Neil. Oh, yes, it is, Neil. Yes, just practising my social skills there. Well, I'm afraid you have to practise some other time because, well, I don't want to sound rude, but we are running out of time. Let me give you the correct answer to the quiz question now. Ah, uh, yes, you asked me, when do babies usually start talking? And you gave me three options? Yes, and the options were nine months, 16 months or 18 months. And I went for the first one, nine months. Was I right? Uh, you were wrong. The oh. correct answer was C, 18 months. Now, according to the website webmd.com, there are some milestones in speech development. At six months, your baby begins babbling with different sounds. For example, your baby may say ba-ba or <laughs> da-da. And then after that, uh, nine months, babies can understand a few basic words. Uh, at the age of 18 months, babies say up to 10 simple words. Ah, interesting stuff, and we're still learning words now, aren't we? We are. Well, enough of the small talk. Let's remember some of the words we use today. Rob. Uh, they were small talk, awkward, oh. etiquette, breaking the ice, private, rude, rude slipped my, my mind. mind. That's it for this programme. Do visit bbclearningenglish.com to find more six-minute English programmes. Until next time, goodbye. Bye-bye. Six-minute English from the BBC. That was nice, wasn't it? A little bit fast. Oh, that's the way they speak. That's the, that's the way we speak Spanish too. We speak Spanish very fast, so that is English. And they, they are British. They're not North American. They're British. And you can access to this. You can access to this link. I mean, besides this link, you can go to another link like the BBC, BBC CO UK. That is this one. Let me give you this link so you can have access. All right, you can have access on your phone, on your computer, and there's also an app. And every day you have a six minute uh, conversation and you just listen and you are like, you know, uh, practicing your English, okay? Let's continue. There were some new words. This vocabulary, they were talking about vocabulary and some of these words uh, Diana was asking about. So what is a small talk? A polite and informal conversation about things which aren't really important or meaningful when meeting people socially. Example, given at a party. You just talk things like, you know, um, things, common things, common, awkward. Awkward, it, feeling uncomfortable, embarrassed. Etiquette, set of rules which indicate what acceptable behavior in society is. Any questions? No questions. Breaking the ice, approaching someone you don't know and starting a friendly 
conversation with them. Private, someone who doesn't like to give away their personal information, opinion, or share their feelings. Rude, ill manner or unpleasant. It slipped my mind, forgot. It just slipped my, it just slipped my mind. I forgot. It's another way to say I forgot. It's a, a an idiom. Una frase idiomática. All right. Any questions? I have, but it's other vocabulary. Vocabulary, uh huh. Order. Awkward. Oh, you have another. Oh. Quarter. Más adelante. A further question. Una pregunta más adelante. A further situation. Una situación más adelante. Towards. Uh, let me see. Towards to you. Dirigirse. There are some words that I, I, I know, but I don't know the translation. <laughs> in depth. Uh, in profundidad. Yeah. Ill manner, rude, rude. The same thing is a bit rude. Ill manner. It's the same. It's the same. De mala manera. Okay. De mala manera. Rude. You're being rude. Oh. All right. Yes, teacher. Thank All you. right, thank you. Now let's start working on the book. It's nine o'clock. Remember, this was this was a uh, a reading. This was the last activity. I remember I read it and I sent the audio. Did you listen to the audio today? Like a good student, did you listen to the audio? Yes, today. A little bit. Okay, I'm going to read it again. It says, read the article about Miss Kate's networking experience. Discuss if the questions below are true or false. Correct the full sentences. Last week, I had lunch with Allison, a new member of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year but we really did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I will have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. During lunch, Allison mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said 
she worried a lot before going to a large networking event. I felt surprised because she trusted me that feeling. I got to know more about her, the industry she works in, and about her expectation for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from a small talk to a smart talk. Here's my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business, problems, and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry. Comments? Questions? Only meaning teacher. Meaning? Yes. Meaningful? Yes. Significativo. Teacher. Meaning? Hello. Mm -hmm. it, networking. Um, Son las redes. Redes de trabajo. Okay, but uh, is a your article about the Mr. Tate? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Tate, networking uh -huh. experience about her experience. Okay, and and then uh, ah the the activity hearing about about he or about oh, work. okay. Uh, discuss if the questions below are true or false, but that is in the next slide. Now um, we're, we're going to go to the next slide, this one, and you're going to say, you're going to reread the article and state if it's true or if it's false. So Alison and Miss Day saw each other for the first time last week, true or false? Um, okay. All right. But for that chance, you gotta, you have to read again this. So I'm gonna send a picture or maybe JC, can you send? Oh, JC, yeah, JC, where are you? There you are, thank you. Now the other one, JC, this one. Perfect. Now, start working, please.
Está buena la música, Chicho. It's a, yeah, I'm sorry. It's a, a stay from WhatsApp. That is fun. Uh, they are two uh, American football teams. And one team is start dancing that, start dancing that song. And the other team is like, what are you? What's what's happening? It's fun. Sorry. <laughs> Teacher. Hello. I like, like I like Beyonce. Uh I like her. <laughs> I don't I, I like her. I don't like her music. I like music to Beyonce. All right. She's she's a beautiful mama. Mm -hmm. But her music is is for ladies. <laughs> Excuse me. How are you? Are you finished?
teacher, your microphone. All right. Thank you. Addison and Miss T saw each other for the first time last week. True or false? Uh, false. Yes, it's false. Miss Tate set a networking goal for this year. False. Mm. False or true? False. 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 Let's check. Okay, let me see. During lunch, I'm going to go on and feel again. I'm going to pass away. Okay. I set a goal last year. Okay, last year. And she said this year. Okay, so it's false. You are right. All right. Allison confessed she hated networking events. False. False. Okay. Miss Tate and Allison passed from a small talk to a smart talk during lunch. True. True. True? True. Okay. Miss Tate mentioned three benefits of one-on-one -on -one networking meeting? Yeah. True. 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 Okay. There you are. Next activity. False, 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 true, and true. And let go. All right. Find 10 words from the box we love in the word search. Talking about a company. What are the words? Industry, staff, networking, branch, guests, headquarters, a small talk, manufacture, personal, and expertise. Okay, so please start working individually. JC, can you send the, the chat, the screenshot for the group, please? Mm 
I get one. Excellent. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> Get quarters. We got three. Oh, Diana, you're making, uh, can you use another tool? Maybe. Uh-huh. Hello? This one. Maybe you can use a rectangle. Oh yeah, that's better. Like this. You see how we're using this? There you are. It's here. It says dibujar. And here, I don't know if you see my, my screen. You choose the shapes, this one, rectangle. Yeah. Then you come here, you place like the cursor, press the left, like the left mouse or the left uh, key on the mouse, and there you are. You see? Need an order. Now, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're finished. There are 10. There are 10. <laughs> Jay Z. <laughs> okay, Jay Z. Got it? It's complete. Yeah. Everybody has it? Yes. Good. I'm going to erase this, okay? Branch expertise. Uh, stuff. That was industry. This is small talk. Uh, headquarters. And let's go. Now, choose five words from the from the words. Word search and write a sentence for each, okay, here. Write a sentence and 
send it to the chat. Start working, please. Thank you, Jay Z. <clears throat> Thanks again, Jay Z. I'm part of the staff in the office. All right, Diana. I want the five sentences. Are, are they your guesses? We have five branches in El Salvador. The headquarters of my company is in my city. And what's your city? The headquarters is in El Salvador. I'm a small talk when now I arrive at uh, we can say at a new place, at a new place, okay? Five sentences per each.
my work are in the gaming industry. The company staff is efficient. In San Sebastian manufacture hammocks. Who? But who? In San Sebastian, people people manufacture hammocks, or some people, or some families, or some um, entrepreneurs. I learned from the staff. Super Select has more than 100 branching outside. They have their headquarters in San Salvador. Good. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Thank you. I'm gonna call the attendance again. Adriana Lisset Chavez. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Flor de Maria Valladares. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Erson Osvaldo Deras. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Juan Carlos Quevedo. Thank you. Karen Gemina Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Nayeli Machado. Present. Thank you. María Fernanda Morán. Merari Andrea Sánchez. Present. 
Thank you. Sergio David Leiva. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Walter Amilca Ramírez. Teacher, I'm here. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, Excuse me, but I have a... a, a <laughs> All right, you had an issue. Thanks, teacher. All right. Uh, Jenny Carolina Tobar. Present. And Yolanda Perez de Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Okay, let's continue. Next activity. Now, write five information questions in the simple present. Use the verbs from the box. Oversee, manufacture, supervise, be in charge of, and network. Working groups, so you can do it faster. Casey, can you send a, a shot, please? What happened, Karen? Boy, teacher, boy. Thank you.
Okay, for overseeing, you have a an example. Yeah. What do you have? Oversee your children. Oversee your children. Oversee. Recuerden que las oraciones en inglés deben de tener un sujeto. Continue, please. Manufacture. Manufacture. Nobody did. We have one, but I don't know if it's correct. Give it to me. What do manufacture in San Sebastian? Save us. Okay. Supervise. Number supervise who mm -hmm. supervise in your area in your area. All right, be in charge. Are you in charge of the company? Oh, good. Hmm. 
network. Network. So, puede decir, teacher, a new member of my new world contact. Mm, but that is a definition. It's okay, but aquí dice write information questions. O sea, que hay que escribir con what, con who. What new word do you use for your personal project? What? What network? What uh -huh, what network do you use for for your personal project? Mm. Okay, look, only number one, uh, we don't have, this is a yes, no question, okay, three, okay, not bad, not bad. In number one, I have, do you already see your chat? Ah, I'm sorry, I didn't listen. I did my mistake. But pay attention with this, okay? Do, this, those are simple present question, okay? Y aquí pedimos information questions. When we ask for information question, we use the words what, where, when, how, who, and more, okay? And can be who is to oversee your children? No. Who oversees, maybe? Who oversees? Cuando uso el who como sujeto, los verbos van a ir en tercera persona. And another, hey, this is beautiful. Order the words to create positive, negative, and interrogative statements in the simple task. Okay, let's do it. You're going to have four minutes to do it. Can go right in the chat? Oh, you can do it in the chat, yes.
teacher. Hello. What is the meaning of workmates? Workmates, compañeros de trabajo. Okay, number one is, did you enjoy the training? Number two. Did you enjoy yeah. Okay, December. that is number, number two. The seminar the didn't manager attend the manager? Attend the seminar. No, the manager didn't attend the seminar. The manager didn't attend the seminar. Uh -huh. Number three. They are personal update the maintain, main, maintaining certifications. Mm. The maintenance personal. Okay. The update the, uh -huh. their certification. What are you seeing? Maintain, maintenance, 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 personal, personal, update, update, certification, update, uh -huh, their certification, okay. Number four. Did the supervisor change the business yes. part? Did the supervisor exchange business card? Sorry, 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 sorry. And that's what hard teacher. Number five. It was hard. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh, it's hard, but tell me.
Uh huh. Nobody. The the roommate. Uh huh. Didn't. Uh huh. Um, didn't. Okay, my I'm gonna help you. My workmates. Boy, gourmets. Uh, at the convention, didn't didn't network. Got it? Yes. Yes, thank you. All right, thank you. Take a shot, JC, please. JC, the specialists. <laughs> Our cameraman. And send a screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, JC. Perfect. All right. I guess we're finished. Okay, class. That's that's it. We are at the middle of the course. And at the end of another week, have a nice weekend, study English, listen to podcasts, to music, everything that helps to improve your English, okay? Have a nice weekend. Happy weekend. And see you on Monday. Bye-bye. 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 Good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Good night.